Sky Sports' very own Jeff Stelling is set to take on an incredible 34th marathon march to raise money for Prostate Cancer UK. The march is going to start at Wembley and finish at Wickham Wanderers Adams Park, and that's in honour of the late Bill Turnbull. And we can go live to Wickham now. Mark McAdam is with Jeff. Good afternoon to you all. Yes, good afternoon, Vicky. Welcome to Adams Park. As you can see, I'm with football icons, young and old. It's, it's started already. It's started already. As you can see, I'm here with the Wickham boss, Matt Bloomfield, and, of course, our very own Jeff Stelling. Jeff, great to see you. Now, every single time I've seen you on one of these marches, my final question has been, are you going to do it again? Are you going to keep going? And you've said, no, this is the last one. But guess what? You're back again. Yeah, I always say never again. But you know what, Mark? I'm an idiot, an absolute <laughs> idiot. And the good people at Prostate Cancer UK came to me and said, well, what about just one more? And I said, mm, not sure about that. And I said, well, it would be in memory of the, the broadcasting legend and great Wickham Wanderers fan, uh, fan, Bill Turnbull. So I thought, yeah, if I'm going to do one more, that's a good reason to do it, you know, in memory of Bill. And, of course, these, is, these, these marches have been something you've been doing for a number of years. You've raised in excess of a million pounds. You've touched so many lives around the footballing family. It must be so hard for you to not say no when it does so much good work. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. I didn't imagine when we first started the, uh, the marathons off that it would have the impact that it has. You know, and a lot of it was about raising awareness. You know, but, but again, that brings us back around to Bill because when Bill publicly announced that he was suffering from prostate cancer, you know, that did a huge amount for uh, public awareness of, of this illness. In fact, there were uh, something like a 20% increase in the number of people who were going to get themselves tested, you know, or, or speaking to prostate cancer just because he made that public statement so again that makes me feel a fantastic affinity to him because you know a lot of people still don't get it still don't get the fact that one man in eight will suffer from prostate cancer at some stage you know during the course of their lives you all stood next to the Wickham boss, who was the Colchester manager. Mm -hmm. Is it all friendliness between you two? Because I know that Colchester scored a late goal against Hartlepool. It's all friendliness now, because he was doing far too well at Colchester, and they were getting out of relegation trouble mighty quickly. And now he's left, things are not going so well, so I'm, I'm so glad he left and he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, great to see you as well. We'll touch on Bill Turnbull. You've been a part of Wickham Wanderers for in excess of 17, 18 years. You knew how important he was to this club and how important the club was to him. So to see Jeff come and honour him in this way, it must be really special as someone that's connected with the club. Yeah, it's really touching. You know, Bill was uh, an incredible man uh, with a lovely family. Um, he loved this football club and the football club loved him. You know, his support for us. He was one of the very lucky few who was at Wembley to see us promoted in 2020. Um, and, you know, and his memory lives on. You know, I exchanged emails with his wife only on Friday. You know, his, his kids are still big Wickham fans and it, it's nice to know that we're supporting him uh, as much as we possibly can. And that's what this club's all about. It's the spirit, it's the community, it's the togetherness. And together great things can be achieved, which you prove both on and off the pitch. Yeah, I think that's what's special about this place. You know, um, you know, some things are actually bigger than football, and this is, is this is one of them. Um, you know, we try and uh, live our lives here the best we possibly can, and with the support of people like Bill, makes this place um, so special. Like I say, so you know, we can't forget him. Um, you know, it's unfortunate um, that he's no longer here to, to see us play and, and to be a part of our lives, but we certainly won't forget him. And in September, when Jeff's marching from Wembley to Adams Park, will you be marching with him? I certainly can. I certainly will. You know, it's an offer I can't refuse. I think, you know, to, to do it for something so important and in Bill's memory and to be able to join Jeff, I think, is just a cause um, which would be lovely to be a part of. It would be an honour to be there, so I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it, yeah. And just a quick word on, on the challenge you faced. Six points outside of the playoffs with two games in hand. Back in the hot seat here at Wickham. How much are you loving being the manager of this football club? But, of course... You've still got to achieve something this season. Of course, yeah. Sentiment's been and gone. You know, my playing career's been and gone here. I'm here to do a, a job in the management uh, hot seat. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, the gaffer has left us in a great position, but, you know, the, you look at the top six, they're big clubs who are, are winning games regularly. It's going to be tough, tough. But at the same time, we've got a good belief of what we're doing inside the building. Um, we've got some good players, a great spirit. So um, we're looking to keep attacking these games and, and see where it can take us. Do we talk about Hartlepool at all? Yeah, you can do. The last time we were here, by the way, we won. We won 1-0 in the FA Cup. So, you know, by the way, I should tell you that Wickham, they always finish strongly. They might be seventh now, they might be six points off. But I think at the end of last season, unbeaten in the last 12, won eight of those, drew four. So, repeat of something like that, you'd be in touching distance, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's obviously going to be a tough, tough end to the season, you know. It's, uh, but this is the bit we love, you know. The, the end of the season is a bit where it all comes alive. So, and we're certainly looking forward to it. 
And just a final quick word on, on the march and the buzz and the excitement and, and what it will bring for you and another bit of a, a challenge, a bit more hard work, a bit more uh, practice to go between now and then. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, not too much practice. I, <laughs> I, I tell myself it's all in the head, you know, that it's a mental challenge as much as a physical challenge. I'm going to keep telling myself that as well. Look, it's a brilliant day. It's a daunting prospect. It's a 26 miles walk and you're on your feet for 10 hours. It's a heck of a lot. But you know what? Everybody who's on that march, or pretty much everybody who's on that march, will know somebody who is living with or has died from prostate cancer, whether it be a family member or a friend. And that sounds like it's going to be all doom and gloom, but it's not. It's a joyous occasion. You know, it's a lot of fun. Um, everybody mingles with everybody else, and, and it's, just a, it's just a fantastic day. So I'm not looking forward to the, the pain and the sore feet and the chafing, but I am looking forward. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some fantastic, fantastic people. And, and I will say, Mark, one thing I do promise is I'm not going to wear the pink trousers. Hang on. Yeah, well, you, yeah. you talked about chafing there. Now, there was a bit of chafing going on on Soccer Saturday at the weekend with your rather tight pink trousers. Were they rather tight? Oh, I don't know. They, they were TK Maxx's finest, £9.99 in the sale. You know, <laughs> it was the only pair of pink trousers they had, not surprisingly. Uh, it was all a bit of fun, though, to show solidarity with Michelle Owen. Yeah, well, somebody had gone on Twitter. Michelle was presenting the EFL, and somebody had gone on Twitter to criticise her dress sense because she was wearing a, a pair of pink trousers, rather less garish than the ones I wore on Saturday, admittedly. So I, I promised, in solidarity to Michelle, that I would wear the pink trousers as well. And you know what the reward was? Michelle texted me, and she said... You are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Matt Bloomfield and Jeff Stelling, thank you so much indeed. I have to say, I joined Jeff on one of his marches a couple of years ago, and it was without question one of the best things I'd ever done. Genuinely, genuinely mean that. The community spirit and the togetherness of so many football fans was what made the day so much, uh, so much in my memory and so special. So I cannot wait to do that once again in September. And as you can see, we're going to finish here at the end of the day. We'll probably speak to this man again, and he'll be a little bit... Prostate Cancer UK, Jeff's March, if you want to join in. Yeah, that's fine. He can interrupt me whenever he wants. He's the boss. <laughs> he certainly is the boss. Thank you, gents. And I look forward to joining you in spirit. <laughs>